All right. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my final presentation of the seven habits of highly affected people. And I sh as you can see, a uh, path is, is because it's a new journey for me. After uh, reading this book, I've, I think that uh, all of us should take on this uh, habit so that we could create uh, an effective life. And what I'm going to talk about, I'll talk about a little bit of myself and the three habits that I didn't mention on my last presentation, which is being proactive, seek first to understand, then to be understood, sharpen the saw, and in conclusion, I'll be talking about being effective. How can we become effective? And all right, my name is Maria De La Cruz. I'm, I was born in the Philippines, grew up in Guam. Um, I, I'm uh, the fifth child of seven siblings. I have three kids, and this is my fourth quarter. Next quarter will be graduation. I joined the military when I was 19, and now trying to uh, accomplish something. <laughs> and let's go to my first, being proactive. And so as you can see, I put a photo of, um, of a resemblance of me being trying to be proactive, consciously and subconsciously. As you can see, the first photo is me taking a walk at Chambers Bay. You know, all of us have, have situations that happen and, you know, we get out of shape. I had kids, but I don't blame, I don't blame that. I don't, but I, I'm trying to be proactive in, in a way that I could be effective as, as a person. And here is another photo of, of um, letters that I receive uh, in here, attending three quarters of being in the dean's list and president list. I don't, I, it, I don't accomplish that if I'm not practicing being proactive. And I just want to give you a story. Last week, you know, I, I was trying to sharpen my saw, and I was like, I've always done Zumba a lot or, you know, a lot of cardio, but I never really strengthen my muscles. So I thought of boot camp. I was, it's a different um, strengthening of your muscles. But I didn't know where, I didn't know um, this location of this this gym. So I took on early, you know, I went there early, 30 minutes early, and I was driving there. And of course, I got lost. 30 minutes into it, I got lost. And I was like, gosh, you know, I called my husband trying to get directions. But I still kept going. I had that, that uh, dedication, that devotion to actually just be proactive to what my, my uh, physical being. And so that takes me to seek first to understand. I share you a photo of my family because I want to start that at home. You know, communicating with uh, your family members is very important to understand where they're coming from, not just me. Just the other day, my son wanted to play, you know, he wants to play sports, basketball, but I've been enforcing track. And I, you know, as a, as a mother, you're like, you know, do this instead much risk on basketball but I actually can't get to that if I'm not listening to him so I let him go play basketball and and so he he agreed he would play um, do track if you know if so it win-win so using all the habits and like like in the other uh, the proactive story that I have you know, after calling my husband because I was frustrated and I wasn't really listening, he gave me the right directions. I was just listening to listening because I was already lost. So that that is in connection with my seek first to understand. And lastly, is sharpening the saw. Um, there's this was a very touchy subject. It was a very a renewal for me because. A lot of things happen through our lives. We get circumstances, you know, we have kids, we go through, we go through depressions, you know, situations happen. But the sharp in the shaw, you have to be physical, it, it's, it touches on the four dimension, physical, emotion, uh, social, emotional, and your spiritual and your mental. So I share you, you with you guys my physical. I've been uh, contributing time for 5K runs, but I want it more, not just for fun, but for a purpose. I want to like do 5K runs for charity events, to, fund, to raise funds, um, to feed 
you know, to feed the kids or, or with disabilities or any cancer society. That's what I want to focus on as my spiritual being. And emotional, you know, I've always had friends in the military. That's all I had, you know, because I, I left, you know, uh, Guam and went to college. And, and so I've met people in the Zumba, you know, friends that I could actually have the same feeling of, of how, to, how to get over certain uh, boundaries of, of emotional, physical, just, just a relationship, and it, to be a friend, to connect. And lastly, our spiritual, this one was very renewal for me. It, it touched more of connecting with recommitting myself to God. As, a, a, as a, we know, it's not just about your human being, but it's about being spiritual as well. All right? So I've committed 40 days to do the Lent. It is a Lent season. And so I recommit to that. And the Purpose Driven Life. To my mental, I've, com I've picked up a new book to actually commit to that, to, to expand my knowledge. It's more of spiritual being. And lastly, I leave you with my conclusion. So as everybody know, the three habits that I mentioned, be proactive, is take responsibility, take initiative. Uh, don't let um, your mistakes, blame others for your mistake. And seek first to understand. Listen not to reply. And third is sharpen the saw. It's about your four dimensions, physical, mental, social, emotional, and your spiritual. And I leave you with this, is to practice it. Decide on it, commit to it, and succeed. Thank you very much.